What's up guys, welcome back to another video. So I am in Massachusetts now, um, considering everything that's going on, I came back from school. So we're in Massachusetts. We're here with Daniel. Six yeah, feet. A rod's length apart, there we go. Six, six. Um, but we're gonna go fishing. Um, we're heading over to a pond over there. You're gonna throw some chatter baits, some crank baits. And I'm gonna try and get my first open water fish of the year since I just got back yesterday. Um, and Daniel, you've caught some fish here, right? Yeah. Yeah, so it's looking good. It's a little cold out, a little windy, but overall, not too bad. Let's, let's, get, let's get this fishing done. That sound weird, but peace guys. All right guys, so we made it down to the spot. Um, I'll be throwing this crankbait. It's a Strike King 1.5, I believe. Um, just get some vibration going in this cold water, see if a pickerel or a bass will munch this. Uh, we just saw an eagle fly by. Um, that's always good luck, so let's see how it goes. That's probably not a fish. I'm really bad at telling. I haven't caught a fish in a while. Oh, Daniel. Oh, Daniel, second cast. Let's go, boys. Let's go, boys. Let's go, guys. It's a bass. There we go. Daniel, look at that! There we go, boys. Second cast on the crankbait. Yeah, that's got to be a four pounder, maybe a high three. There we go. Look at that. That eagle was good luck. There we go. Okay. That's crazy, guys. That's crazy. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. <laughs> I'm happy to be back. I'm happy to be back. That's what the spring's for. Off to a good start. Second cast on the crankbait. We got this big boy. Let me get a quick weight on him. I just got a quick weight on him, three pounds, 11 ounces, so just under four pounds, but we'll release him quickly so he can get back in the water. It's a little cold out. There he goes. Woo. There we go. First open water fish of the season on the second cast there. Not too bad, um, but let's get another one. I think we actually just caught a fish. It looks like a pickerel. Yeah. Daniel's asking me if I actually caught a fish. There we go, in the snow. Nice pickerel using the same crankbait. Hey, bud. After catching that pickerel, I just quickly want to go over what type of lures I like to throw early on in the spring. Um, I've been getting a lot of texts from my friends asking what lures they should be throwing. So I'm going to quickly go over what I've been throwing today and what I would throw if I was at a different pond that wasn't a muddy bottom pond like this. So today I've been throwing, as you guys have seen, this uh, square bill crankbait by Strike King. 
Um, and crankbaits are great for this, especially square bill ones, because they don't dive too deep. They won't get fully into the weeds, but they'll get deep enough where they're rattling around all, right above the weeds, um, depending how deep your pond is. So I like to throw these if it's like a shallower pond in the spring, and then I'll throw a lot of chatterbaits if it's like a deeper pond. Um, you can let chatterbaits sink all the way to the bottom and then reel them in. This is a fourth ounce chatterbait, I believe, but that's because this pond is pretty shallow. I put on a pretty light chatterbait, but you can get three eighths, one ounce, um, half ounce chatterbait um, for those deeper ponds. And then if you're fishing ponds that are like reservoirs that are clear, um, rocky bottom, I usually like to throw something really slow and on the bottom. Usually the fish there are a little less aggressive. So I'll throw like a jig and just slowly drag it, pop it across the bottom, or I'll throw a shaky head. Um, anything really slow, sometimes jerk baits if you can get them down there and just twitch them back and forth. Just something slow on the bottom that's really gonna get the fish to bite. So yeah, those are some of my favorites I like to throw in the spring. I hope that's helpful for you guys. Um, I'm gonna keep fishing out here. The snow's getting on the lens, but yeah, it's nice out. I hope all of you guys are staying healthy and fishing, so let's get back out there. I believe it's spring. Oh, yeah, that's definitely a fish. There we go. There's another bass on the crankbait. Hey, what? Just a little guy. How we doing? There we go. Out here in the snow, just got this little guy on the crankbait. That's awesome. That's awesome. Happy to be back in Massachusetts, able to fish. Um, I'll probably be going out tomorrow again, so I'm gonna say this is my last fish for the day today um, Thank you guys so much for watching. I should release this before I keep talking because it is cold out There we go. There he is There he is Let's get a quick release on that one. There he goes just on that little crankbait right there. As I was saying right before I release that last fish, I'm gonna call it on that fish and on a good note. But overall today was a really good day. Was able to catch that first largemouth a little below four pounds. Caught that pickerel which was okay. Um, not too fun because they're pickerel and then luckily was able to end it on a bass. So I'll be back out here a lot um, this spring so I should be posting a lot so I'll be back out here tomorrow and yeah a bunch so thank you guys so much for watching please like subscribe and I'll see you guys soon peace